Hi everyone, principal stressors is one of the very important concepts in solid mechanics. Let's try to understand it and develop more intuition using a very simple experiment. This is a cylindrical object and I have drawn two squares of similar sizes on this. One is along the axis and one is rotated at 45 degrees to the axis. I would like you to observe these two sets of perpendicular lines as I subject this cylindrical object to torsion loading. Let's see what happens. The first square here has become a rhombus and the two lines here are no more perpendicular. And the second square here has become a rectangle and the two lines inside are still perpendicular. Let's analyze this further. For the analysis part, you may require a prior understanding of state of stress and principal stress. So, if you would like, check the link in the description. From the experiment, this is what we have observed. I have drawn squares at different positions only for a visual clarity. You may also draw them on top of each other and you will still see the same set of results. So, for the analysis, just assume that we are dealing with this situation. The square became a rhombus in the first case. This could be interpreted in two other ways. First, the lines AB and CD are no more perpendicular, which means there is a shear stress acting upon it. And second, both these lines have the same length even after deformation, which means there are no normal stresses. So let's speculate the stress state at this small square. From the previous arguments, it is easy to obtain a pure shear stress state. In the second case, the square becomes a rectangle. Other ways of interpretation are AB and CD are still perpendicular, which means there is no shear stress. AB has become shorter, which means a compressive stress is acting upon it. CD has stretched, which means a tensile stress is acting upon it. So, the shear strait at this small square would be comprised of tensile and compressive stresses. There is another way of looking at this. At the same point, the stress strait is pure shear with respect to this coordinate system and it is of pure normal stresses with respect to a coordinate system rotated at 45 degrees. So, what do we get out of this? Let's now link this to the principal stresses. There will be one coordinate system about which there will be no shear stress, which is this one inclined at 45 degrees. The corresponding planes are called as the principal planes, which are these two ones. Lastly, the corresponding normal stresses are called as the principal stresses, which are these two ones. You can also verify these results with either the stress transformation equations or the Mohr circle. So I'll leave that to you and thank you very much for your attention.